I am Jim Martin. And this is Jason Ian Martin. And, and we, we are J.I.M. Reptile. So first off, everyone, happy holidays. Um, hopefully you enjoyed your holiday weekend and everything. Um, also, sorry for the no um, video last week. We were busy due to a lot of breeding stuff and the holidays as well. Um, but in today's video, we have breedings, pairings, and breeding cycles going on and a few feedings that you can see throughout the video and some important things to go through in the video. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Molly is done for the year. Breeding. I guess she's ovulating and she is all done and over for the year. So it's Wednesday. We have moved some of the mates and kept some of the mates in with their mates. Which this one is one that has been kept in. And they are staying in together. Next we have this, these two. And she killer clown got moved in here. And she killer clown got moved in with the other and pastel he's head. He's in the back he's underneath back in the somewhere. paper. Then we have the lavenders. They are staying together. Lavenders stay together. They're locked. Everybody's cage was cleaned. And these. And uh, they are locked at the moment still. Uh, over here, this is the spider. He got moved in with the butter yellow belly, and. That's where they are. Then down here is the albino pie. He got moved in with the black pastel albino. And we haven't seen the albino pie breed at all with anybody. But uh, maybe that'll change. And then our last and final one is the pie. He got moved with the black pastel super pastel. And yeah, that is everyone. Marshmallow and the unknown locale, I'm not sure. They may be, but I can't really tell. Molly and Tony are breeding again. So this is the female hip hide, which she is the female. This is the male pied, which she is breeding with. And we are going to put them together. And hopefully we see some reading out of these guys. So right here is the pastel female. Her mate is the spider fire mystic potion. So the spider is spider fire mystic potion. The potion the potion is Mojave. So everything in here you could you get some spiders in this clutch. You get you get a lot of different things in this clutch because there's so many genes in that spider. And uh, yeah, that is this amazing, beautiful clutch. That will this is the Het Lavender Albino Hip Pied Female Double Het, and this female is getting the male Lavender Albino Hip Pied Male. He goes in with her. Nothing changes here because that's his only mate. And that is her only mate. Because females only get one mate because, you know, get two mates makes something weird. But anyway, yep. So right here is the pastel hit clown number one. Which her mate this week is the NG Killer Clown. The empty killer clown, he's going in with her. Killer clown is super pastel clown. She's pastel heifer clown, so she carries one clown gene. So half their babies will be clown. And, and all of them will be pastel. All of them will be pastel, and some will be super pastel. 
and could and then some could be Enchi as well, carrying the Enchi gene. Half would carry the Enchi gene, yes. So this right here is the female Tofino. She has her mate as the albino pie, which he is going in with the Tofino. And we haven't seen much from them at all. Um, the albino pie has a bunch of females he goes with, so they takes a little bit before they see each other again. So, so she is um, Tofino, Tofino, which is het for coffee and het for albino. So the babies will be either albino or Tofino. And they will all be head for pied. Because he is pied. So, right here is the Lemon Blast GHI, which Lemon Blast is pastel. And what is it? What's the other gene in it? She's GHI, she's pastel, and she's pinstripe. Pinstripe. Pinstripe yeah. and the pastel make the Lemon Blast. Just weighed her. She's about 1,700 grams. She wasn't we real We would like still, her to eat a little bit more. And but, uh, she's going back in her cage. She's been breeding. And she's going With the super pastel. Male. Male super pastel, which will make... A lemon blast. Some that are the same as her. Yeah, and some um, that are... And some, they're that all? are some that are super pastel. And they'll be GHI, maybe. Super Pastel GHIs would be nice, too. And they're in together, and hopefully... We've seen breeding from them, and we're hoping we'll see some more breeding with them again. So the Black Pastel Albino and the Albino Pie are breeding, is what it seems to be. So the Butter Yellow Belly and the Spider have a lock here. They are, they are breeding. Um, and uh, he has bred with the pastel also, yep. so this is moving along well. My dad's going to go through the females in the breeding cycle and see how they are and tell you how they're going. Pastel female, she has bred. We've seen her breed once with the spider fire mystic potion. Um, she hasn't really started to gain weight and she is still eating. So, Butter yellow belly, we showed her earlier. Um, she's breeding with the spider, but we believe that uh, she is uh, either ovulating or about to. Uh, I'm going to have to check and see if she ate this week. I'm seeming to think that she did not, which would be the first time for her. Tofino, I believe she's starting to uh, puff up a little bit. Um, she is still eating, but um, she has bred. We've seen her breed with the pied. That was the first lock we had with the albino pied. So that's good. At Pied, I also think there's something going on. She's starting to really puff up. Um, she did not eat this past week either. Um, and her and the Pied have, have locked multiple times. The Black Pastel, we haven't really seen a true lock. We thought we had one earlier in the video, but we're not sure. They're definitely not locked now. Um, but she's um, progressing along pretty good. And she did not eat this week either. So she may be done eating too. Black Pastel, Super Pastel, she's been in with the Pied. I'm not sure if we've seen any locks with her, but uh, she's progressing well and she is still eating, so. No, uh, she stopped eating. She stopped eating yes. too? So yeah, she's probably moving towards ovulation also. Both of the Het Clowns females, this one, and this one. Have both bred with the uh, Anchi Killer, Anchi Killer Clown. And they're um, moving along pretty they're good. They're moving along pretty good. This one ate and the other one didn't, or vice versa, I think. <coughs> Orange Dream, same thing. She has bred with the Anchi Killer Clown, and she has not eaten the past two weeks. So, should be progressing pretty good here. Orange Dream, Het Clown, she is still not big enough to breed. We're feeding her. She's eating like a pig, and hopefully later in the breeding season, we can get her up to weight. She's got about 600 grams to go, I believe. Albino, het pied, het clown. Um, she is uh, big to begin with. Um, she has not eaten this past week. Um, have not seen any locks with her as of yet with the uh, het pied. This female is still eating. Um, I've had locks with, uh, she's with the pied too, right? Albino pied. Albino pied, yeah, but uh, 
nothing um, quite yet. And this one had many locks. This is the uh, Dreamsicle Project, Het Lavender, Het Pied. Um, she is in shed. We're hoping that this is uh, the pre-ovulation shed. GHI Lemon Blast. Um, we've seen her lock multiple times with the Super Pastel. And um, I believe she's not eating anymore either. So that's good too. This is the unknown locale. Um, she um, is also gaining weight, um, puffing up. She's still eating, and I don't see where her uh, swelling has, has moved. So not quite sure if she's completely ovulated. Like I said, she's still eating. We'll see what happens um, tomorrow when she's fed. Kayla is also pretty much in the same situation as the young Lynn locale. She's swelling up. Um, it has not dropped down like it has in uh, Molly, as you'll see in a little bit. And uh, she's still, you know, eating pretty ferociously now. She'll be fed again tomorrow too. So that's the update on the retakes. So this is Molly. As you've seen earlier in the video, she has gone off of food. Now we will try and feed her again today. But she has definitely ovulated. Um, and they have definitely dropped down if you look at her. Her tail here up. The bulge is here. She is well on her way. There's no need for us to pair her with Tony anymore. We did pair them this past week. But she should be, you know, we're just waiting for a uh, pre-lay shed. And if it's 30 to 45 days after that, we should have eggs. So that wraps it up for this week's video. <clears throat> Hopefully you enjoyed. Also, again, sorry for no up, uh, video last week. Um, and also, this video... Sorry that it's like a hammer with a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. But every other video from now on will be at on Monday at 9 o'clock because this video is a little late as well. But anyways, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out. Bye-bye.